So if you happen to have one of these, it's called a SanDisk iExpand USB. It's used to get files on and off the iPad. It doesn't work exactly the same way as you'd expect a USB to work as it does with a Windows PC. But there's one thing it can't do. You can't get folders of files off this onto that. You can only get multiple files, but not, not files that are in folders. But I've found a way you can do it. It's a bit of a workaround. So you need three apps. You need the iExpand Drive app, this video playing app called NPlayer, and the Files app. I don't use Files that much, I don't really like it, but it appears that I need it for this. So what you need to do is you still need to, you to plug the USB in. So you need to allow the app to recognize it. And once it's recognized it, just close it. You don't need it anymore. It's not a very good app that, but I should make it better, but that's all you need it for. So then you need to open up this end player app. So what the end player app does is it actually recognizes the USB as you'd expect it to like a normal computer would. So if you touch on it, it's got the folders in there. Now this folder one, folder two, the two I'm going to copy across. If you look at it, folder one has JPEGs, there's a subfolder with PDFs and DWG files, which is AutoCAD. Folder 2 has MP4, MKV, and MP3. There's MKV there. So, in this M player app, select the folders you want, and then all you need to do is download. Now it asks you where you want to download it. You can make up a new folder or choose one you've already made up. There's just a default folder there called Downloads. We'll just put it into there. So you can see it's downloading up here. Now there's one big file in here, about 350 meg, so it might take a bit longer to download, but I'll just leave it running so you can see in real time how long it takes. It's reasonably quick. The more files you've got now, obviously the higher that number is, which is actually quite handy, so it tells you how many are left. There we go, it's all done. So now if you go into downloads, this is showing you all the files that are just downloaded, not in folder format, just as like a whole list. You don't need that anymore. You can go here and just clear them. So if you go back to local, just going back through the folder structure, there's a folder here called downloads. There's the two folders. So they're now on the iPad. Everything's there. Now this player, end player, is a video playing app. You can manage your files in it, but I don't manage my files in that. I actually manage them in a file, an app called PDF Expert, or OneDrive. I've got my PDF Expert and OneDrive, they sync together, they're pretty handy. So to get them onto PDF Expert, that's when you need to go to your files app. You need to go on my iPad, end player, downloads, these two folders here. You just got to select them, move, move it to PDF Expert, and go copy. Now you'll find that if I go into PDF Expert over here, they're in there. Subfolders. Everything's in there. Folder two, and you can do what you like with them. Put them, wherever, put them wherever you like. So it's a bit of a workaround, but it does the job. That's how I get them on there.